Today we are checking out the Clarity VX D Reverb Pro. Right now you can hear my air conditioner running. You can hear all the reverb from my room and what we want to know is does this thing actually work? Can you dial out that last little bit of reverb and get rid of all of it? Well, we're about to find out. Let me go ahead and turn this on. Silence. You don't hear the air conditioner. You don't hear the reverb. Sounds like an almost perfect room, doesn't it? There's a regular version and a pro version of this plugin, and I think the regular one's very nice, but I'm not able to dial out that last little bit. I'm always still hearing some reverb, but this has all these advanced controls that the regular version doesn't have. And if you're somebody like a voice actor who just needs to get rid of every last little bit of reverb, this is something you might want to invest in. If you're a podcaster, even just a regular person who doesn't want to have any reverb in the recording that's not recording in a perfect room, this plugin is for you. The pro version of Clarity VX D Reverb is amazing. If you're interested in purchasing AnyWaves plugins, check out the link in the video's description and the pinned comment. Let's go and turn this back off. You're hearing the air conditioner again. You're hearing all the reverb from the room. I mean, this plugin works. So we're gonna go over the advanced controls. We're gonna show you how to set it up. Make sure you're listening on your best set of headphones. That way you will be able to hear all the little changes and the differences as we start dialing this in. I'm going to go ahead and turn the air conditioner off. That way we can just focus on listening for the reverb removal, but this will remove background noise as well. I'm going to put this on my editing software. We're going to read off some sort of a clip, and then we're going to show you how to dial this in, how to work all the controls and all that good stuff. I'm going to go ahead and play part of this clip with the Clarity DX turned off so you can hear it with it off. And then we'll start working on getting this thing dialed in so it sounds amazing. I have hunted near. I have hunted far. I've even looked inside of my car. I've lost my glasses. I am in need. I have to have them now so I can read. I loudly swear and curse. Did I leave them in my purse? Hey, I'm just reading something from the internet. I don't carry a purse. Did I leave them in my purse? Are they behind the sofa? Are they under the bed? Or are they on my head? So now we're gonna go ahead and turn it on and I'm gonna show you guys how to dial in all the advanced controls. So the first thing I do is I change the strength multiplier up to 3.0. I take the big knob and I crank it up to about 40%. I come over to the little presence knob. I put that on 60% and then I turn on the limiter. And for now, I don't touch anything else. So let's go ahead and listen to this with it on. I have hunted near. I have hunted far. I've even looked inside of my car. I have lost my glasses. I am in need. I have to have them now so I can read. And that sounds pretty good, right? That sounds pretty decent. Let's go and crank it up to about 50% and see what happens and play that back. I have hunted near. I have hunted far. I've even looked inside of my car. I have lost my glasses. I am in need. I have to have them now so I can read. All right, let's go and crank this up to about 60% and see if we see much of a difference. I have hunted near. I have hunted far. I have even looked inside of my car. I have lost my glasses. I am in need. I have to have them now so I can read. What I can tell is this definitely removed the reverb, but it didn't seem to degrade the quality of my voice. As long as you got on a really good set of headphones, you should be able to tell that this thing is working great. So what if you have these reverb frequencies that you just can't find or dial out? Well, that's where these little bands come in. If you click the button that says difference and move these bands around, you can find where the worst of the reverb is. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that for you right now. So let's click difference. Let's play the clip. I lost my glasses. I'm in need. I have to have them now so I can read. So what I'm doing is I'm hunting for the reverb. Chair is becoming quite mucky and damp. His work book is wedged in the window. His sweater has been thrown on the floor. His scarf and one ski are All right, so I think right there we got the most of the reverb. So let's go ahead and turn off difference so we can hear what it did. His books are all jammed in the closet. His vest has been left in the hall. 
a lizard named Ed. Wait, was that the poem? That was terrible. That was terrible. A lizard named Ed is asleep in his bed, and his smelly old socks has been stuck on the wall. I have hunted near. I have hunted far. I have even looked inside of my car. I have lost my glasses. I am in need. I have to have them now so I can read. Guys, that did an amazing job. I mean, all the reverb is gone. All of it. We dialed out every last little bit. Let's go ahead and open up the regular version of Clarity VX, the reverb, and see how that works really quick. So with the regular version, this is what you get. Let's put that up to, let's maybe just say 50%. We'll move the presence up to about 60%. And let's go ahead and play that clip back. I have hunted near. I have hunted far. I've even looked inside of my car. I've lost my glasses. I am in need. I have to have them now so I can read. I loudly swear and curse. Did I leave them in my purse? Hey, I'm just reading something from the internet. I don't carry a purse, okay? I've hunted near. I've hunted far. I've even looked inside of my car. I've lost my glasses. I am in need. I have to have them now so I can read. I loudly swear and curse. Did I leave them in my purse? Hey, I'm just reading something from the internet. I don't carry a purse, okay? So honestly, I can definitely still hear a little teeny tiny bit of reverb when using the regular version. So let's go ahead and turn that off. Let's pull the pro back up. Let's turn that on. I mean, even on flat, right? Even on the flat version, this works great. So let's try this again. I have hunted near. I've hunted far. I've even looked inside of my car. I've lost my glasses. I am in need. I have to have them now so I can read. I loudly swear and curse. Did I leave them in my purse? Hey, I'm just reading something from the internet. I don't carry a purse, okay? Right now, this is the maximum amount of reduction. We got the, the knob cranked all the way up. And we got this cranked up to 200% all the way across. So let's play that back and see how that sounds. I have hunted near. I have hunted far. I've even looked inside of my car. So if you don't want to sit here and hunt for the reverb, just grab band number one, crank that up to around 150% and pull that all the way over. If that's not enough, you can always move that up to around 200. But if you don't want to sit there and search for the certain frequencies, you can just do that. One thing that's really cool is you can actually keep some reverb frequencies, get rid of some others. Let's just say you want to keep some of the, the high end reverb, like some of the higher pitch reverb. You can actually pull this down and then you want to get rid of some of the lower end reverb. You can kind of dial that in. I mean, you can actually EQ the reverb, which is really cool. So, I mean, not only can you remove reverb, you can remove some types of reverb, keep others, and then dial in the type of reverb sound that you want. All right, so this thing is really doing the job. If you're in a room that's not horrible, but it does have some reverb coming back in, this is how I recommend setting this up. So I leave the first control on dialog one. Single stereo works just fine. Um, I take the strength multiplier and I'm either going to turn that up to 2.0 or 3.0. I'm going to crank the big knob, knob somewhere between 30 and 40%. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take the presence and crank that up to about 60%. I normally turn the limiter on. And then what I do is I come over here and grab band number one. I put that up to 130 or 140%. Let's go with 135. And I just leave it set right there. And that does seem to remove all the unwanted reverb and the background noise from my recording, which is great. So the regular version of this is pretty good. It will get rid of the most of the reverb. It won't get rid of all of the reverb. It will take it down to next to nothing, but you're probably still going to hear just a little bit. When you get the Waves Clarity VX D Reverb Pro, you can dial out that last little bit. So for me, this is working wonders. This is probably one of the best plugins I have ever used. I mean, I've tried some other reverb removals before and they just didn't really work that well. They were okay, but this one, this one is just works. And don't forget to check out the video's description. We got the links to the Waves plugins and a bunch of other good stuff in there. So again, don't forget to like and subscribe and we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Lightning out. See ya.